doesn't even let me touch him when he's crying, let alone tap on him, which can be very common for a lot of young kids, even adults, when you're feeling upset or anxious, the last thing you want is someone else coming at you and tapping on you. And you don't want to create this like negative connotation with tapping. You're not going to forcefully come at your child and tap on them. You always want to ask permission. So if they're not letting you tap on them. They might let you at least tap on their body. So you can tap on either their thymus along their clavicle bone. You could do the side of their hands or side of their body. You could try that first. If that is still a big no-no, they don't want you to touch them. You could do some surrogate tapping. So you just either envision their face over yours, or you can just look at their face and tap on each of your points and just almost like projecting your energy where your thoughts go, energy flows. So if you're thinking of tapping on each one of those points on them, you're actually sending, sending energy to each one of those points. I know it sounds crazy, but it does work. And as you're doing them, just saying some calming words or even just doing some breathing, just even you breathing alone can help to send that calming energy.